when you're approaching Manhattan, you look at it and you think, you know, am I going to conquer it? You know, will I conquer New York? New York is a place that when eight o'clock at night rolls around, the curtain is opening on some of the greatest performers around the world. It's the most palpable I've ever felt, that connection with an audience. You have to be present as an artist and you have to be present as an audience member for the experience to really happen. Yeah, that's Broadway. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to give myself to you and you're going to come and love me. It's a commercial landscape and every day you have to pay your rent. It's a business, kid, and everybody's got to pull his own weight. The theater district in those days, I, I mean, it was so down on its luck. Help save the Marasco Theater. When the AIDS tragedy hit, the theater community was particularly hard hit by it. While Broadway was grieving, this invasion happened. Broadway began to be priced out of existence. There's just such a feeling of risk, giving people something they have never seen before. How come you ain't never liked me? Who in the hell ever said, I got to like you? American plays give us back ourselves and empower us to go forward. We need the voice of the marginalized. Right now is the time. What's new? What's fresh? What is going to inspire the next kid who thinks, oh my God, I'm going to write a play?